Oh, good morning, or oh, whatever time you are watching this vlog. Uh, it's six o'clock, I'm half asleep. I've been woken up by Alfie barking his head off. Uh, it's Wednesday morning. Uh, today I've got to go to Leeds for an exercise test later on. Uh, I think I'm going to be seeing Alex as well. I've got lots of orders from last night's Crystal Live. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, I'll get those posted today. Uh, I've already wrapped all the ones that have been paid for uh, and I'll wrap all the others as they're paid as well uh, and I currently feel really tired I didn't get to bed till later on I just couldn't get to sleep it was about two o'clock so I've only had about four hours sleep so I'm slightly dazed and stuff like that uh, so a cup of tea time I think will wake myself up so I'm in the car, I'm dressed, my hair's back because it's just roasting again today. Um, I've got to go to the post office with all the orders from last night. Uh, it's taking up the entire seat beside me, which is brilliant. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, some really nice products anyway, crystals mainly, uh, and some candles, so I'll get those posted. Oh, I'm slightly out of breath already, and I have an exercise test this afternoon. Once I've been to the post office, I'm gonna meet Alex. Uh, I'm going to spend a bit of time together, get some lunch. Alex wants some shopping, clothes shopping, I think. Oh dear. I did a new type of video yesterday on my uh, Vocal Coach Reacts. I did a sort of let's chat about something. Uh, and it seems to have gone down okay. Uh, not loads of views, but I'm getting lots of good feedback, which is nice, because I'd like to be able to do more sort of talking heads videos like that uh, a little bit like a podcast really um, but you know video instead because uh, my podcast doesn't really do anything I do have one um, but I don't really do anything with it anymore I did try different options interviews and stuff like that but I just couldn't get it to take off really um, anyway I'm gonna go to the post office <sighs> just breathe Georgina just breathe Concerned about leaving Alfie as well because Simon's gone to Newcastle. I don't know what time he's going to be back. <sighs> so my head's a little bit today. So I've just met up with Alex. We're sat outside Nando's because it's not open yet. We're going to have Nando's for lunch. I've not had Nando's in a little bit. I think the last time was when I was with Alex. Uh, sat next to a little man-made streamy thing. It's quite relaxing. Oh, little girl coming down with the bare feet in the water. Right, so we're in Nando's and we will be having the same as always because we're that excited. But we like what we like, you know, in here. So uh, today I'll be having my imitator wrap with halloumi in it, probably a bit of cheddar cheese and some spicy rice. Alex has a wrap with chicken, plain chicken, plainish, uh, and plain chips. Uh, and then we have just a bit of ice in one and a little bit more ice in the other one for the drink. I'll go with stuff. <laughs> Ah, so I'm officially out of breath. Ah, so we did a tiny bit of shopping. We did Primark and sort of looked in a few other windows, but clothes are so expensive right now. So Alex got a few bits from Primark. We had our Nando's. Uh, I got a chocolate brownie from Dolly's for Simon. Uh, so I'll take that home with me. So out of breath. So now it's about two o'clock and I've got to get over to Leeds to have my exercise test. <laughs> oh God. So petrol on the way. The exercise test is not until half past three, it's only two o'clock. But I've got to get into Leeds and park, which is a real pain in the bottom. Uh, normally it takes me a good few times around the car park to park. Ah, uh, right, let's go to Leeds. So I'm here, I'm in the worst car park ever. 
Yeah, you have to drive around it at least five or six times to try and find a space. But luckily, somebody was just coming out, so I went straight in. So that's twice now I've gone uh, it's pretty much straight in or round at once. Yeah, a lady was asking me if the parking was card or cash. And she said, this is the worst car park ever. I said, yeah, it is. I'm well aware. <laughs> So that's it, I'm done. I'm walking back to the car now, slowly. So you can see how warm I am now by the colour of my face. So I'm now back at the car. Um, so the exercise test was actually a lot easier than I expected. I kind of figured I would be out of breath and struggling and getting dizzy and stuff. But my heart handled it so much better than I realised it would. Um, so they put like monitors on and get you to lay down and do blood pressure and sort of ECG while you lay down and then you stand on the treadmill and do the same thing and it kind of goes up and then goes up a bit more goes a bit faster until the point you need to stop um and I probably did about 15 minutes it wasn't too bad I used to go to the gym I you know I was a dancer I was fit um but with the heart issues I can't really do it anymore Anyway, from what they've said, the heart's not, um, the heart's coping with the exercise pretty well. It's the blood pressure that isn't. He said that when my heart rate goes up, my body's kind of coping with it, but the blood pressure's, pressure's shooting up higher than it needs to be, and I'm ending up, you know, lightheaded and stuff. So we might be able to save this from having a, a pacemaker he reckons that we might be able to do something about the blood pressure first if we can get that so it's a little bit more normal might not need a pacemaker all that soon uh, so now i have to wait for my consultant to look at the results from last week's monitor and this week's exercise test and then we go from there but I need to get home to my poor little Alfie. I've been out quite a bit of the day. He's on his own. Simon's not back yet. I'm feeling really bad. Uh, Liz is away, so I need to get back to my little Alfie. I've got to drive through Leeds again now. So I'm home. I've had a bit of a rest for an hour because it was, it's been a busy day, you know. Post office, then to Barnsley. We went round town. We did a bit of shopping for Alex for clothes. We had some Nando's. Then I went straight to Leeds the joy of oh, the joy of driving around Leeds parking up and all that then I did my exercise test I was there way too early so I had like, like half an hour to wait um, then came back again so I thought you know I'm going to have just to sit down with Alfie so I've been sat down for maybe half an hour me and him have been having a bit of a cuddle uh, he was alright when I got back, luckily. You can always tell if he's been upset because he does that kind of squeaky cry when you come in and you feel so bad. But no, he's not too bad, he's alright, but he's not in his chicken yet. I don't know if you guys with dogs have similar issues, but Alfie's really picky with food. So is Tinky, actually, Liz's dog. Tinky just eats chicken and one particular type of dog food. That's it. Alfie's pretty much the same. We've tried every dog food you can think of. I might try butternut. Um, but yeah, we have to make him fresh chicken. He's finally eating it, actually. Yeah, he's going for it now, thank goodness. So we have to make him, you know, proper cooked chicken in the air fryer. Which is fine, I'm alright with that. Um, but yeah, he don't eat all that much. And it worries me, we try and, you know, feed him as much as we can. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you something. Simon's just come in. Uh, I got him a chocolate brownie, galaxy chocolate brownie, I think I showed you it earlier, from Dolly's. Um, one of these. Massive box for a small brownie, let me show you. If I can get it open. Yeah, look, you can see the brownie in there. Massive box for that. And I bought him, um, I ordered them from Tinterweb. Uh, I bought a couple of these. Now, Simon has issues with getting to sleep sometimes because he says he, he has light behind his eyes. 
and I think this is partly because he's on his phone too much, you know, doom scrolling. I told him off about this before. Uh, and he gets this bright lights in his eyes and he finds it difficult to sort of relax to go to sleep. Um, so what he's been doing is getting a t-shirt and putting it across his eyes. So I thought, this is ridiculous. Well, no, no. So I've bought him one of these because this is really cooling for the eyes and helps you sort of relax. And I've bought him a Velcro, one of the sleep masks. It's kind of got pads around it. Um, but it's a thick one, not them little girly things. Girly things? Little small ones. It's a proper thick one. Uh, which goes across the nose and it velcros at the back. So that should be coming. So I've had to tell him now because it's not here yet. So I've showed him the first part. But let me just show you how funny it looks when it's on. Because it's got two in the pack, so I've got one. I did have one years ago. You know when you go through your beauty thing, you're young and you think, yeah, I'll try all this beauty stuff. Let me show you. <laughs> What do you think? Great. <laughs> uh, it's lovely. It feels really cooling and fantastic. Uh, so Simon, I need to make Simon some tea. I don't know what he said. Um, so I thought while I'm packing the crystals away, I would pack them properly ready for the craft fair on Sunday. It's technically not a craft fair, it's a canine party in the park. Um, but I figured, you know what, rather than moving them into there, let's just do it properly and pack them all away. Uh, put them in my trolley. So I've got my trolley all set up. So what I do is I get my trolley out and I fill it with all the stuff that I need and then it's easier so I don't get it all mixed up. Uh, and there's the gazebo and the table. I need another table because uh, we're doing a bigger one. You are right, Alfie? So I've got all this lot here to pack away, decide what I'm taking. I think I'm going to take quite a lot because I'm going to have an L-shaped table, uh, two tables uh, under the gazebo. Uh, I'll be able to take quite a bit more. Ah, oh, so it is 10 to 8 and I look like a bag of washing. It's been a long day, but a really good one. Um, my news this afternoon was really good. Not needing a um, pacemaker at this point. Um, I've just come upstairs though and found poo. <sighs> it was probably because poor Alfie was here for quite a while on his own. Not like overly stupid length of time, but I don't like to leave him longer than sort of three, four hours and I had to leave him a little bit longer than that today. And I think he just needed to go. It might not have been him, it may have been Edward. Because Edward's a one for doing that as well. If he can't get out, he'll find somewhere to poop. But unfortunately it was proper runny poop so i've just had the joy of clearing up a whole load of poop on the floor luckily i've got a carpet cleaner downstairs so since i'm getting a good scrub um i'll get the carpet cleaner on it uh to you know clean it up and stuff um so all in all it's been a good day i'm ready to relax now i'm ready for a shower i just feel so warm and like bleh. um so nice shower do me air and that uh, and uh, a nice night's sleep. Tomorrow I am teaching. Uh, this weekend is the Halifax uh, craft fair, which I've already started packing for. Anything else? I can't think of anything to tell you. Uh, so that's it for this vlog. Please excuse my lack of fringe. That looks a bit weird. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, loves. Mm -hmm.